welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Aries Leo Sagittarius. I am going to tip you on down here so you can watch your cards come out. And uh, we will start right away here. Ooh. All right, your first card out is the Six of Pentacles. So feeling like somebody isn't putting in enough um, or you are dividing your energy, kind of breadcrumbing everybody. The Queen of Cups is next. So you're very, one of you is very sure their feelings here. The other one is unsure, so they're contributing to more than just the situation at hand. Um, the energy coming in for you is the Ten of Pentacles. So reaching that, that st state of happy family, happy home, abundance in many areas. Um, Spirit's advice for you is the chariot and the outcome. Thank you. Whoa. All right. The two of cups. All right. You also have the Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. I do feel that is like a side message I'll go over real fast. So in order to get this offer that you're waiting on, somebody has taken their sweet ass time and it's driving you crazy, but they're coming in their own time, in divine timing. The only way to get this moving any quicker is to release the hurt and the heaviness of the past to let that go and to walk away from the pain, to put the burden of when are they returning? When are they coming back? What are they doing? Who are they with? Put that down. Heal from the heartache that was caused by this uh, lack of, like, it was like they didn't even try. They almost took you for granted, took, took the relationship, um, as it will always be there. So they don't have to really contribute. Um, that really hurt you that there was somebody else. So it's time to release this and walk away, walk towards healing. And that's the only way to get this, uh, offer back or, you know, to get that offer, whether it be somebody returning or somebody new, you're waiting on somebody who want that you want. Okay. Let me start over. You're waiting on somebody to come into your life and make you an offer that's something you can hang your hat on, something tangible, something real. And that's what the Knight of Pentacles is all about. Somebody, or this is an offer from somebody who really wants to invest in you, who really wants to invest in the connection, and that's what you're waiting for. So whether you're waiting for somebody to return or somebody to new to come in, either way, that Ten of Wands and that Ten of uh swords has to be released so your bottom of the deck and shared energy is the queen of pentacles clarified with the page of cups and the ace of wands okay so like i was saying well we'll do your shared energy first um you could be waiting on an earth sign um or you're just really focusing on your finances your your pinnacle taking care of yourself. You're really focusing on loving and nurturing and taking care of you after you are dealing with somebody who just didn't really bring in a whole lot. Um, emotionally, you were all in and they were very selfish about their love. Sorry, cross watchers, if this is you, but it's true. They didn't care how thirsty the other two were. They were just drinking for themselves. So this person, and it can be vice versa, remember. So you don't need to put that in the comments. It can be vice versa. But one of the third party was focusing on what's in it for me. What can I get? What 
you know, not caring how much the other two people suffered. So, you know, the significant other and then the third party were both vying for this person's emotions, their attention, their love. And they were more focused on what they were getting out of, out of what was in it for them. So you're really changing, you're changing courses here and starting to focus on you. If no one else is going to do it, I'll do it myself type of thing. I will make sure I am loved and nurtured and taken care of even if nobody else will. And that's what's going to bring in this very passionate opportunity um, for you to create a beautiful connection either between you and source, you and somebody else, or you and a project. Something new, something big is coming into your guys' life um, very soon, within the next couple weeks for sure. Um, but back to dealing with this person, they or you, one of you, um, was just giving enough to keep you hanging on. Um, because they weren't prepared to leave the person they were with and they weren't prepared to be with you or they weren't prepared to leave you and go with be with somebody else or a fire sign, you could have the one with the two people. But either way, this person wanted to have their cake and eat it too. You notice there is cake on those plates. So literally, they wanted to have their cake and eat it too, not thinking about how these other two people would be affected. Let's see why the Six of Pentacles is here. What do we need to know? Yeah, the Five of Swords. So, finally, however, this person is going to walk away from something. They're going to make a decision. Um, they have the two swords in their hand, and they're leaving the heartbreak behind. So, this person is going to finally um, make that decision, following their intuition, going in, going within, working on themselves, figuring out. They could be very silent right now, fire signs, very quiet, um, drawn back. Um, but this is manifesting into a connection. This person will return. Um, very heavy earth sign. Um, we have Pisces there as well so far. But this person, the divine, is leading and guiding them. You see the bird. It's like you are sitting here waiting for this person to make this decision. Bottom of the deck is the lover. So a decision is being made. You're waiting at a distance from this person or vice versa. Um, but the divine is working its it's magic to, to bring them to you or you to them because the three of wands plus that ace of wands, that opportunity that's coming in when you focus on yourself, love and nurture yourself, that opportunity comes in allowing you to manifest it and then in turn making a four of wands, a stable home, a stable commitment, wheel of fortune, changes coming. The queen of cups. Yeah, this person, whoever this person was, whether it be you or them, they, um, even though they have this unconditional love, they, they've they been sure of this connection all along. They know the feelings are real. She's got her hand over the cup. She's like, no, you ain't getting in that easy this time. We've done this once before, twice before, three times before, however many times. You spilt my cup once before. I'm not letting you in until you can come at me with a real offer. You've come to this point because you've had to heal a lot. There was a lot of hurt that was done in this connection with this third party. Um, and it took you a long time to get over the heartache. So now you're not giving your love out just that easy. Um, this person's going to have to work for your affection uh, this time around. What's coming in for you is that Ten of Pentacles. So you are going to be able to build something solid and successful out of this connection. Wow. Very solid and successful. Look at that. This is a past life soulmate with the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. We got the four of wands and temperance. That's my twin flame energy. Um, this is attainable. There's that four of wands, like I was saying, um, that this is going to create. Find your balance. Be patient. Work on yourself. Nurture yourself. This is all about learning to master your emotions. The, uh, the perfect balance of light, dark, night, day, sun, moon, silver, gold, however you want to uh, look at it. It's about balancing and self-mastery. It's about figuring out how to balance your own self in this time of separation. 
So this is going to come together and that's the energy coming in for you. That's freaking amazing. Um, and this is going to be a very solid connection. You could be moving into a home in the near future with this person. Um, with that Ten of Pentacles, you could, this looks like a blended family to me as well. You could both possibly have children or one of you has children already. Um, but it's going to be very happy. It's like finally the weight is paid off. Wow. Spirit's advice. Look at that. Stand your ground and do not tolerate a third party situation. Love yourself enough to know that you cannot and will not put up with that. Um, move away from the situation. Find that healing and start working on that. Start working on this. Because when you allow your intuition to lead you away from this connection, um, this is also for whoever your partner is. If you're cross-watching, it's time for you to get out of a situation that is not good for you. It's not horrible, but it's not where you're meant to be and you know it. For some of you, you are getting a higher level of intuition. F allowing this guide, this is your inner self. Um, this person is in the boat by themselves and this guide is your inner voice. Allowing your intuition to move you to a place of healing. The chariot always rides to the star to find that healing. So allow yourself to let the go of that Ten of Wands and that Ten of Swords, like it was saying in the beginning. Um, for those of you who are in the con in a you know commitment that you're wanting to get out of, it's time to allow your intuition to bring you out of that situation and bring this change in. It's going to lead you right to this Two of Cups, the person you're meant to be with, the person that brings you happiness and bliss. Wow. The sun will light your path if you let it. The sun will guide you. The universe is trying to get you both in your path to bring this connection together. But a choice has to be made and it has to be stood by. It can't waver. Um, but this person, if you are the one waiting for this person, they are choosing you in this time of Leo. If you are the one with the choice, you're making the decision in the time of Leo. So now until August 22nd, I've been saying Leo for a long time. Um, it's a big month for um, coming together. This person is going to um, complete a cycle, a major life cycle um, in their life in order for this to come forward. But the best advice for you is to heal from the pain. So this can come together. Yep, heal that heart. Once this is healed, then they can move forward. They can come in. Um, yeah. They, they are trying to release themselves. They're getting out of this mental headspace that they're in. If you are the one that is stuck, you are going to get out of this. Um, when you follow your passion, follow your heart. But... For the person who's waiting, you have to release this and start nurturing and loving on yourself so this new beginning can come in for you. Let's get a Romance Angel card. I should have done that at the beginning, but I forgot. One card for our fire signs. This is actually very beautiful. Um, I mean, this is your outcome. And this is your future energy coming in for you. That is about as best as it can get. Most definitely. Way too many. There's a lot of healing that has to happen. The divine uh, masculine, if you're in a twin flame, um, they could have mommy or daddy issues from their childhood that they need to heal. And look at what your card is. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal from the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So, it's time to heal this so they can come forward. As long as you're, you know, bitter or mad or upset or still in that that painful um, heart space, there's you're not leaving any room for this person to come in 
and give you this or this. It's going to take some time, but in the time of Leo, they're going to make this big offer. Could most definitely be connecting with a earth sign or earth or air. I don't really see too many major, let me see. We got Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, uh, Pisces, Cancer, and that's it for the majors. And then, um, you know, any Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, um, Libra, Aquarius, Aries. So yeah, it's a very beautiful reading, Fire Signs. Begin that healing process. Begin the process of letting that go. And you are going to be amazed at what's coming in for you in the month of end of July, beginning of August. But you got to start somewhere. So today's the day. All right, guys. I send you all my love. God bless.